Okay, uh, I've had a couple people ask me uh, how to hook up the the actual uh, the electrical of the box itself, and uh, what you do is you get one of these. Uh, they're called thermal snap switches, and uh, the number on these I don't know if you can see them real good or not. This is the ones that I use, and I got this off a guy on eBay, but uh, you can pick up. They're all over eBay, uh, and what you're looking for on this one is right here where it says uh, it, it, it closed at 110 and opens at 90 degrees Fahrenheit okay and initially all this is, is just a big spring in there and when it when it uh, when it gets hot it, it closes and opens and creates a circuit um, for now uh, what I'm gonna do is this is gonna represent our big blower fan uh, and initially all you're doing is creating one big circuit uh, you could take, uh, it's got these little, um, the wire connectors that go on there. And what you're doing is you just take, you take a couple of these and you'll take and you'll put it on uh, one side of your switch. And this is your actual plug, okay? And if this is going to be outside, you're going to use a weatherproof box and everything. going to seal it all up to make sure everything's uh, legal there. Uh, and you can pick these up on eBay or Radio Shack or whatever. It's just a little... Um, a little connector right there and then you use the crimp tool to crimp it down okay now all you do now is on the end of this it's got uh, the males where the females go and you just plug them in and this is for uh, this switch is for AC or DC the, the actual switch itself doesn't care if it's AC or DC it's just actually going to close the circuit off with heat it's not it doesn't care so now that you got this is one end and you have initially you have this is actually a too long of a cord but I'm just showing here uh, on one side of this it runs over and goes to this piece here goes up through this this actual thermal switch and over into the fan itself so all you got to do now is you have the extra end that goes to the other side of the plug and the other side of the fan and you're going to take a wire nut twist these together and take a small wire nut and actually put them together like that okay now <clears throat> all you've done is created just one big loop okay now all we need to do now is just plug it in we'll add some power to it Okay, all I'm going to do is just plug it in. Okay, and as now it's activated, now there's actually power going through it up to the switch. Okay, now what you do now to actually make the fan run for it to jump the jump the switch open. Let's see, we'll leave it open so you can see it. Okay, is I actually take heat, which would be a hair dryer on, in this case, and be careful. Uh, Take and tape all these up with elect with the electrical tape. That way you don't get shocked. Now all we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put some heat to it, and when it reaches 110 degrees, it's going to it's going to kick the switch on. Okay, now it's reached 110 degrees, and it actually has the fan running. Okay, and it's going to work the same way that it's inside your box. When your box actually reaches uh, 110 degrees, it's going to actually pick your main blower fan on. Whether it's going to be uh, a big uh, inline fan or even a small fan like this if you're going to be running solar. Okay, now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the... I'm going to shift the heat off, and when the temperature drops down to 90 again, it's going to it's going to uh, it's going to kill your switch, which is going to kill your fan. Here, we'll just let. How about that? We'll let the run on the switch. By the way. <clears throat> It's pretty simple. Um, like I say, this can run off AC or DC. If you have, if 
This is actually an AC fan motor. Uh, if you have one of these, it's actually a computer driven one and it's DC and you want it to connect it to a smaller uh, solar panel. Uh, and here in a minute, as soon as this shuts down, I'm going to show you where uh, you just hook it into your uh, your out your outgoing uh, airline right there, and that's what will hook your stuff up. See, now it reached 90 degrees. Now the axle that would be the heat inside your box. If your heat inside your box below, uh, drops below 90 degrees, it's automatically going to kill your fan. Okay, now. What you wanted to do is say, like I said, if this was AC or DC fan, I would actually take and put a solar panel out, whether it be a 12 volt, which would be for something like this. Uh, now, this is actually an AC fan. If I wanted to use an actual solar panel, uh, I just look at the watts of how much it's pulling and I, I, you know, pick whatever size uh, solar panel I'd want. Now, this would be AC. I would actually need. Um, a converter to actually go from AC to DC to go over through that so we'll go ahead and uh, do all that uh, later on and we'll show you but initially I just wanted to show you how the switch works um, and I'll take you over to the other side of the box after we have it actually hooked up but it's going to go on the outside uh, port of your actual heater so that way when it's drawing air through your other side of your uh, through your uh, first part of your lead there through your heat exchange sucks all the way through all your cans and it's actually getting ready to leave this is where you're going to hook that switch up at and you can um, you can put some 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 screws in there and stuff like that set it up like that and that'd be fine so uh, if you have any questions uh, initially once we get everything put together uh, and I'll show, uh, we'll have a video of it, putting it in and where it's going to be at. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, um, we'll sh I'll uh, just, hey, feel free to email me. Uh, like I say, once we get this put outside and get it finished, we're going to actually run the duct work. And I have a 6 inch, uh, 260 cubic feet per minute fan, inline fan that's coming. And we're going to hook all that up. And we'll show you how to do all the, the actual wiring and all that stuff. Now this is just only one way that you can hook uh, your actual uh, solar heater up. Uh, there's other ways to do it, but this is actually the simplest to do it. And you can actually get these snap switches to where they'll, you know, they'll keep running till 60 degrees and then shut off, or up to 90 degrees and turn on. So it's just a matter of looking to, to figure out what switch you want. But this seems to be the real popular switch from 100 degrees closed to 90 degrees open. So. Alright man, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, I'll see you guys later.